Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. In the last episode, we did Sand Mountain, the last level in this area, as far as I understand, because it was the Mermel Lair, there was um, the Rock Bottom, and then finally, Sand Mountain. So now we are heading over this way to see what this is gonna be about. As you can see, it is the Industrial Park. Is that actually something that's on here? No. So I guess it's just, I just get to go through. Will there be a boss fight? Like last time there was the, um, the Poseidon. So I'm a little curious to see what's gonna happen this time, if there'll be anything like that. Oh my gosh! Wow, that robot looks like Patrick, and its breath seems just as bad. This day just doesn't seem to be getting any better. Oh. SpongeBob, hurry! Squidward's in more trouble than a chili Riano in a pan of grease. We have to help! Oh gosh. Oh, right, Sandy. But if that robot really is like Patrick, he'll eat us for dessert. What should we do? Oh man. Well, we better figure something out, and pronto. Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try <laughs> to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it. Yikes. Okay. Looks like SpongeBob's in for a rough ride. Oh boy. So right now he's just trying to spit Don't ice cream at us. Oh man, it's everywhere. What do we do about this? Right now it doesn't seem like much. I'm just gonna try to avoid it. Poor Squidward is still here. Look at that. The oh gosh, here's our chance. Ready? Boom, got him. Down. So that seems to be what we're supposed to do. That's good. Oh, so how do we switch to Sandy? Like Great you can see there's like a little Sandy reef. things. Maybe at some point the battle will just naturally switch over to her, I don't know. Oh my, so Patrick's doing his little ballet again. Ooh, Where is Patrick during down. all of us? Okay, quickly get over there. Boom. So we're just kicking him in the back. A little rude, but I mean, so is he. He's trying to eat us, isn't he? See, we still have quite a few hits to get on him right now. Oh my, oh my. See, just like with the Robo Sandy, we just got like another boss fight going on, really. I mean, I guess we did switch over to Patrick during the Sandy Robo boss fight, so I'm guessing it's gonna be the same thing here. All right, whoa. Was that it? I guess so. Uh oh, not quite. What is he doing? Wow. No, Pat. There's SpongeBob. You pushed this world too far. Get ready for a hot sponge twister, Texas style. Oh what is boy. What's Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? Great I guess we'll have to find race. out. <laughs> I just like imitating him. So now he's making all these boxes fall down. Am I supposed to do anything with these? I don't know. Um. Well, I guess oh, no. I'm making the boxes down. fall. Maybe. Oh, okay. I guess that made it fall on him. So if we go over here, That's boom, kick him in the back again. That works. Weird, so I guess just continuously gliding on these. Oh no, gotta be careful. That hot goo could melt anything. I don't know what exactly is happening with everything, but as of right now, I'm just trying to survive Great barrier reef. until he's kickable again. <laughs> it's a weird boss for sure. Oh my, oh my, be careful. And the robot is down. Okay, so we'll deal with that in just a second. I'm not getting any more boxes. That's the ticket. But that's fine, that's enough of them. Wow, that was really cool. One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob will be back in the ring. That'd be great. So yeah, he's he has four more hits left. We can handle that, no problem, no problem. That's it, going around this way. Great barrier reef. He's still spinning. I'm just trying to make as many boxes as I can. Oh, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Kick it. There it is! What is he doing now? My gosh. Run, Squidward. Aw. Oh, here we go. SpongeBob is back in the Oh no. No, I'm immediately frozen. Better stay far away no. From the Ow. Oh, clutches. I have to get I can't move. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's got a sting. Great barrier reef. Oh my, this is tough to dodge. No! Do I have to do the whole fight over? Oh, that'd be the worst. But it might be the case. I don't know. That was tough. Okay, no I don't. I think it's just starting from here again. So if I skip this. Yeah, okay, we're back here again. Thank goodness. Man, oh man. So, let's keep it going. Great barrier reef. I'm just trying to dodge everything, which is really tough when you're on these moving platforms. Because at some point I we're just supposed to bowl over to him, I guess, right like here. that. No, like that, perfect. That was very lucky. Bubbles in the morning. Smells like 
Oh no, don't freeze me. Don't do it. No. So I might as well just stick around here. That way if I get hit, I can just pick up the underwear right away. Yeah, as long as we pay attention to where it is, we should be fine. I see a prime bowling moment right there here. There we go. Is that gonna hit him? Nice. Yes, it Seven will. Just one more time now. SpongeBob. We can do it. Oh gosh. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh man. Great barrier. He's spinning reef. around again. Okay. I see a prime Ow, that hurt, but we got him, we got him right here. That's it! Boom! See ya, Patrick! Oh my gosh, toxic terror. Saving me, guys. I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Aw. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. Why? <laughs> I guess from being scared? I hope it's not from blushing. Is that how sponges blush? I hope not. Uh, but yeah. Interesting. Fun boss fight. Very challenging. Definitely a lot more challenging than the Sandy boss. And we'll see. Are we going to go against a Robo SpongeBob I'm sorry, next? Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket security system. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, are gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas. Or I'll never get back into the chub bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Yes. Mmm, something's fishy here. Alright, well, we get to explore this area now. Keep looking for golden spatulas, SpongeBob! I'm sure that my robots out there have some. <laughs> hey, you called them your robots. No, I... And I saw a plaque on the butt of one of the robots that said, Property of Plankton. Well, maybe, but I, uh... And I found this order form for robot parts with your signature on it. Oh, he's busted. Can I have that back? I need it for my tax write-off. <laughs> I think you've been pulling my leg this whole time. Well, duh. I'll bet you made all these robots. And after I get inside the chum bucket and figure out how to stop them, I'm gonna tell everyone. Fine, tell everyone. Be a big tattletale. I'm still smarter than all of you. All right, well, interesting. Uh, let's look around a little bit, though, and see what else we can do. I can explore all that stuff. Kelp Forest, Come Outdoor Adventures. So that's a level right there. Interesting, that one. Uh, we already have enough for that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but what else is going on there? Right, we got all that. Did that hurt? Bubble I guess buddy, not. Oh, I hey! The next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob. Super pinky shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy. Ooh. Paying my entire salary and attention. When you're not moving, press this button and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow. Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble blowing machine. Awesome. So let's try that out a little bit. L1. Whoa. Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool! It awesome! Shines. So there we go. So let's push this over this way too. Cool. Ah, I love that. <laughs> Reminds me of an ability in Ratchet and Clank out of all games. Weird. Oh, and here's the dumpster behind Krusty Krab. Hey, you. Oh, that got us a sock. Laundry. Weird. All right. <laughs> Interesting. And then over this way, we could do the same Fine thing with it. To Boom. Ago. That is so cool. So yeah, what else can we do around here? We could definitely get this one. That's gonna make it so much easier to get some stuff, for sure. Same thing with this one way up this way. So we're just trying this out. It only has seven seconds of flying time, but that's plenty enough. And then same thing over this way. Because it's one of the only things that can destroy these without an external explosion, you know? So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I don't have to get all of them for right now. So to get into the chum bucket, like I can go in here right now, um, but I don't think this is the actual level. Like it was like in the uh, retirement home for Mermaid Man and Barnacle they Boy. Serve food here, yeah. Yes, but... Oh my! Whoa! What's Flash! that? 
Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the chum bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. <laughs> Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stomp on your children! And stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash. All right, well, look at all these guys. They're all customers now. Uh, we're gonna, just gonna do that really quickly. Oh, and there's some extra stuff up there. Might as well try to get it. I don't know if that'll reach. No, it won't. So we can use a flying thing. Gonna cost us 75 to get over there. I'm not really worried about it right now. I just wanted to see what else was available. The chum burger, chum fry shake, chum on a stick, chumbalaya, chum chili, chum pie. Ooh, the chumbalaya is new. All right then, interesting. Uh, we'll check some of that stuff out more in the future. Like I said, its own episode exploring that area. We're just trying to get everything in Bikini Bottom figured out for right now. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really cool that we got this new ability. It's very useful. And I think that there is a spatula we missed in downtown Bikini Bottom that we still need to get with this, so that'll be excellent. I don't think we can even go inside of here right now. No, we can. Hey, Mr. Krabs. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! And worse! They've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! All right. Well, is that a level as well? Krusty Krabs is not a level, so we'll just go in. All right, let's see how this works. There's a lot going on in this game. I like it. So yeah, we'll explore the Krusty Krab a little bit today. I feel like I should be Whoa. working. <laughs> Ready, set, go. So just destroy all the robots in time, I guess. Just like in uh, Sandy's Dome. I like it. There we go. Uh, maybe not worry about all of the sparklies just now. I mean, it doesn't say there's a timer. It was making it seem like as if there was going to be a timer, but not really. Uh, let's get up this way. Hey, and I wanted bubble. to try, okay. This is not working. The, tiding, the turning on this is much tighter than you'd expect. So I, I think we can do that though. Um, I know they're going to try to attack me in the event of this, but if I could just fly up here. Wow, that controlling, the controlling is so difficult on that. What was going on with that? Um, I swear it wasn't that difficult outside, but there we go, we destroyed that, which is the big thing I was trying to focus like on. Can you stop sponge. that? Time for Thank a you. little sleepy sneak. And then up this way, I know you're gonna try to destroy me, but I can hit you back first. How did that not hurt you? What? Ready? Boom. There we go. Sneak around, sneak around. Come on, stop it, sir. There we go. Why are you so difficult? Did they just take two hits and I just never realized? I guess so. Anyways, uh, is that all of them? I don't know. I feel like a new Seems like it to me. Right now, though, I'm just gonna destroy everything else, just to be sure. But it seems like we did what we had to do. It'd be really nice if that was it. We'll find out. Right now, let's just collect all of this, too. Yeah, this is this is pretty cool being able to explore the Krusty Krab. Well, there might be more in other rooms and stuff, so I'll have to worry about that. Okay, that'll make all that mad. I love Should give us presents. lots of shinies. Yep, we're at the 4,200, so we're one third of the way there to our next one. I did check it is 12,000 that we need. We can't destroy the tables or anything, but I can still destroy things. Is there a, a mime looking in through the window? What? That's creepy, I don't like that. Boom, get some of that. And yeah, let's see if we can't go in. Condiment Island. Uh, so we cannot go into any of these buildings or these rooms, so let's see what Mr. Krabs says now. I would imagine he'd be happy that we destroyed everything, but I don't know if he, yeah, because usually they're inside the level, right? I don't know, it was a little weird. But I guess we're about to find out. It, it takes a while to load. I feel like that's the one downside of this game is it actually has some pretty long loading screens. Uh, but Mr. Krabs. Phew. You had me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. And we actually get a golden spatula for that. Awesome. So there's 62 in total. Very awesome. And what else do we got going on around here? Uh, not too much more. There's still stuff to explore, though, because, wow, look at that back there. Um, press R1 to enter SpongeBob's dream. Is that a level? That is a level. 
Okay, it's Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, Kelp Forest, which is over that way. So we're all gonna be worrying about that soon, but for right now, if this is an area we can enter, it's not. Boats. Okay, so this is this is the movie theater, but it's not something I can get into. That's fine. So if that's everything I can explore for right now, so be it, that's okay with me. We're actually gonna go back and get a level, or go into the downtown bikini bottom level, come back with the cruise bubble. I think that's what we currently have, right? Maybe? I wanna find out, so. This seems like a cruise bubble. It cruises through the air, right? We can't like ride it, but maybe we can hit a button or something. I'm not really sure, so Coming that's what we're gonna find out. Oh boy. I don't think this is right. But even then, I don't know, this is a little weird. Come on, come on. Oh, I can hit that button. I can for sure hit that button. Let's try this again. Might have to make the turn a little wider. I don't know if hitting the button would actually do anything now. This is tough for sure. Okay, got rid of him, which is fine. Good to get out of the way. Oh my, oh, that turn is tough. I hit it, it worked, awesome. Okay, so let's get back over there now. The question is, I didn't see a spatula. I see the sock, which is awesome. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. But, I don't see a spatula. Come back with the cruise bubble. Is that not the cruise bubble then? It never really told me what it was called. But what more, aha, aha, here we go, boom. And there it is. Okay, this isn't gonna actually get it though. So I gotta go back over there again. I figured it out, cool. So there we go, that means that up until this point we've gotten basically every spatula in a level in the game so far. So that's really cool, I'm glad that we could have finally gotten this. Let's just wait for this, just like that, awesome. Um. Why is it going down? That was a little weird. And thank you. Wait, wait, there we go, and thank you. So there we go, it's 63 in total. That's really good. So that's everything we needed to do in this area for right now. That's actually this area totally completed because we got all the socks there too. There was some other spot I know of. I think it was in Jellyfish Fields. It was another sock to get. So I'll try looking around for that now and see if we can't find it. Okay, so this is at Jellyfish Fields, um, one of the areas, and I remember seeing this, I think it was on the second episode, where we could do this. We could stand on this, it would show things up. I know this is just for a sock, but I figured I might as well take the chance to showcase even more um, of this ability. We'll be going through this level and all the levels in its own episode, trying to get the remainder socks whenever I need to. Um, I figure that'll be closer to the end of the game, or maybe even after we beat the game, because right now it doesn't seem to be too much worth worrying about. Who knows what other abilities I might still need to get and come back with, and I missed. <laughs> okay, try again. Perfect, and then one last one over here, and hopefully, oh my gosh. It has this very, very floaty, almost heavy turning where it's, you really gotta pull it up and down. Uh, but there we go, and that gets Another us a sock. So that's not 10 socks, so I don't quite have everything I need, but I, I did wanna ch show you that. If you go to Mr. Krabs, you can actually see it is three, six, nine, 12, so I'm guessing it's 15, 18, 21, 24,000, that's a lot. Um, same thing with Patrick, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We'll get there eventually. It's gonna take some time. For right now though, we're just gonna go back to Bikini Bottom. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you there. But what are these last two? On, oh actually, if there's more we can get, oh, maybe. Maybe I should try to find these real quick. So maybe I could use these platforms to get to the top of Chum Bucket, it looks like it. Um. How do I wanna do this then? Do I just wanna, I don't think I can make that jump. I, I can get up here. No, wait, whoa, I'm sliding, not the big hand. Whoops. Where am I gonna get be put? Okay, right here. I mean, I could play it risky here. No, you can't. There's like a wall. Wait a minute. Was there an invisible wall when I jumped? Yeah, there is. Huh. Then how am I supposed to get up? Yeah, there's a wall that pushes you away. And then there's a, oh, there's a golden thing there. There's gotta be something going on here. I can't get down. I'm like stuck. Okay, uh, uh, oh no. <laughs> what is going on? It has me stuck up here now. Oh boy, can I go down now? 
There we go. Feel like a new sponge. Yeah, I don't know exactly what to do about that. There's gotta be a way though. Aha, look at this stuff. Say hello to my little bubble friend. Oh no, got it, there's one of them. So maybe if we hit all these buttons, something will happen. I can only hope. There we go. And then one more time, right up that way. Nice. What did that do? I have no clue. Robot headquarters. Yo, really, what did that do? Oh, okay, here we go, there's a jump right over this way. I didn't see that. Sometimes it just doesn't make much of a notice. Whoa, look at us, we're on the tippity top of the chum bucket. But we just need this right here. Boom, another golden spatula. Hello, bikini bottom. Cool, and then, what about that? Can I make that jump? I sure hope so, because I'm gonna go for it. No, oh man. Maybe I should try again, because I feel like that you could. Boing. You know what, maybe I could jump off of one of those. There it is, you just have to make that second jump a little underwear. late. And there we go. One unbeatable sponge. I wonder Fresh, if that's all the possible like health we can get. We can now hold up the six underwear, that's pretty good. But for right now, let's go back into the jump bucket, because apparently there's something more I can do here. So I definitely wanna figure that out, and then we'll be done here, for today's yes, episode. But they Ready, don't serve boom. Love. Oh, I see it up there. I see it right there. How do I do that then? Do I just jump up like that? Aha, there we go. Golden spatula number 65, and that should be, very surprisingly, every gold spatula in Bikini Bottom. That's awesome, so next episode will be going into more levels. I think the next one is going to be, not the chum bucket, because that one is pretty expensive. I don't know which one we're supposed to be doing next. <laughs> But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.